If you are here for the basic kinds of RAID like RAID 0, RAID 1 or RAID 10, we have got a separate video for that. Make sure you check it out. This video is about more advanced RAID configurations like RAID 5 and RAID 6. These are more practical for professional applications and less for home users like RAID 1, RAID 5 is all about reliability and protection of your data in an event of a drive failure. At minimum, it requires three drives to operate with one drive as a failsafe. If such an event occurs that one of the drives die, the reserve drive is used to rebuild the data on the RAID array. So if you had, for example, six drives, you would get the capacity of only five drives. As it stores data on multiple drives, you can read from it quickly, making it great for storing large amounts of data. But without a complex RAID controller, writing to RAID 5 can be slow. And rebuilding the array once a drive has failed to a new one can be time consuming. RAID 6 is like a more durable version of RAID 5. It can survive up to two drive failures out of the entire RAID array and still be rebuilt. That means you have to have a minimum of four drives for this configuration. And it is also slower to write to than RAID 5. So if you don't have a complex hardware RAID controller, you can't really run RAID 6. When you are running four drives, it is really impractical to run RAID 6 compared to something like RAID 10 and RAID 6 is more designed for professional applications where a large number of drives are built into larger arrays. If you are watching this, you have probably watched our video on RAID 0, RAID 1 and RAID 10. If you haven't, please feel free to go and watch it. RAID 1 is fine if you are running only 4 drives. It will give you 2 drives of usable space. Using RAID 5 gives you a bit more space, but you write to it much slower compared to RAID 1, so it can be useful. But RAID 6 gives you only two drives, and it also requires a complex hardware RAID controller to operate, and it is even slower than RAID 5. And the numbers start to look very different once you move up to 8 drive configuration. RAID 1 will give you only half of your drives and other half is used for redundancy where RAID 5 gives you 7 drives of usable space and RAID 6 gives you 6 drives of usable space plus the fact RAID 5 can sustain up to 1 drive failure whereas RAID 6 can sustain up to 2 drive failures that's all for today thank you for watching this video like the video if you liked it dislike if you didn't comment about it, share it and as for always subscribe to SS Tech Studios for more videos like this.